Hey guys, so here is my top 2023 favorite finds, and then we go into my 2024 goals at the end of the video. This is just an intro and a cool five night snake flip clip in Baja. And next we have my first ever road crew snake by myself while I'm driving and my lifer speckled rattlesnake. And this is awesome. Um, I've only gone road cruising a few times and it was not in the habitat I was in when I found this guy. And it was my life respect, like I said, an absolute beautiful animal and couldn't be more stoked on it. This snake was unfortunately a little bit clipped on its tail, but he was moving around and he was gonna definitely make it. What a beautiful snake. Look at those colors. And next up, here I am in Mono County, basically in Mammoth Lakes. And I was just kind of lifting that log very gently to get that little garter snake out. In fact, it was a mountain garter snake, a lifer for me, and my first snake in Mount Mono County. Um, so pretty rad. And I was above 8,000 feet elevation. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, he was an absolute beauty. Big old guy too. Maybe female. Who knows? Um, and next up stop is a California king snake. And this one was cool because I was testing out a theory of mine. And it obviously worked somehow. So, super stoked. You guys know you would see one of these in here as well. Um, a little Zanata with the orange belly. I did not understand or was aware that they could have orange bellies. I knew about the black bellies, but here's an orange belly where it looks like the triads just do not go through all the way. So, pretty radical. Next up, of course, is something really cool, a uh, San Francisco garter snake, um, one of my favorite finds from this year, of course. Um, this one was really cool. I lived in Santa Cruz for a year and never found one. Didn't target them too much, but, you know, I made a trip back up, and we got one, and a beautiful, stunning adult as well. And, of course, do not harass them. Do not really do much with them. They are endangered. Please protect them at all costs and release them. Your best just to observe. Don't harass the snake. And here, of course, you guys know you would see this clip again. Um, one of my favorite flip clips uh, of last year, 2023. And probably my favorite find, too, honestly, um, of the locality. Um, there is two right there. Mountain king snakes, a head and then a complete body, um, and then of course the gopher snake. I did not realize how good of a job my GoPro was doing, so I was using my phone as well. And then I gently moved that gopher snake out of the way and tell him, look out buddy, I'm here to see the mountain king snakes. I have found mountain king snakes in this exact jumble again after this date. Once I hit it again before other people started hitting it. But it got thrashed once other people started hitting it and did not know how to replace the materials correctly. Big rocks are very hard to replace 100% correctly. So be careful on how big of the rocks you flip, especially where they are placed. Be careful so you can replace 100% correctly. Flip a rock and put it back exactly how you found it. When I do stuff like this, I spend literally at least 10 minutes in this jumble by itself making sure I put back every single thing I moved back to exactly where I found it. So I can get triple flips like this in the future. So be careful how you guys do it. Please, for the sake of yourself and the snakes. I just want to really add on how important it is to replace your rocks. Um, because those piles are now destroyed because people do not know how to use rocks properly. And yeah. That was a very good rock pile, and it is now destroyed. So please be sensible. Please put your rocks back correctly. And I wish I had my release clip still, but I ran out of room. So please just go watch it on the other video. Southern California, Mountain King Snakes, basically. It's on my channel. There's even a release video of it on my YouTube shorts. You can see how I stacked the rocks back, put the leaf litter back and everything, how it was, because that's what you're supposed to do. I just wanted to add that in. Go look at the evidence and proof. Thank you guys. And of course, number one, I was going over there to flip those 
rocks on the left and before I was over on a to the right that I didn't show there was a big boulder and a log I flipped the log then was going to go over the other piles and that little guy just so happened to be crossing in front of me and then sought refuge in that log and um yeah he came out so I could see him um very blessed and I made a point to go left as Baja Blaine and Rancho Ronnie went right because I wanted to find my lifer on my own. Um, we definitely found a few before that one, but that was the one that I found, so it was my lifer. Um, and I really wanted to make a point of me kind of making my own direction to find it because they got me into Habitat, um, which is awesome, and I'm very grateful for it. Um, and yeah, I couldn't have found a better lifer. I was really trying to find one with that orange head and the awesome, perfect, just triads. Um, this thing had about no crossovers and almost had those pen bands. I think it had about 40 triads. It was an absolute ripper. Um, a ripper. Um, so I was absolutely stoked. Um, Baja Mountain King Snake, Lampropelta Zanata Algama, the third subspecies of Zanata I found. Um, my goal in life is to find all nine subspecies. That includes the two intergrades. Um, and then of course, Oregon. Um, don't know about Washington, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, beyond stoked for the upcoming years of my Zanata career. Look at that screamer, wow. And speaking of future and whatnot, my goal for 2024 is to really put in the work by myself and to, you know, really get the award for myself and to learn a lot and to have as much fun as possible. Um, I have a lot of goals for this year. Um, I hope to get an integrate of Multisincta. I hope to get Multifasciata flipped underneath the rock. I hope to get a parv of a few localities, and I hope to be using the GoPro every single flip because I want to get all as much flip flips as I can Everything will also be coming out a lot later this year because I do not want to expose too much. Um, I do not want to be responsible for habitat destruction or anything of the zesty herpers getting out there. So everything's going to come out a lot later dates. I have goals for rosy boas. I have goals for Zanata, obviously. And it's been such a gnarly winter that I might even try to get salamanders. Because we have a long way until there are snakes out. So we're going to have a kick-ass year, you guys. And let's get it.